as you all know, we love the ocean and we love the planet that we live on. Throughout all of our travels, we have become fully aware that plastic is a serious issue. Our friends over at Catamaran Supply, Willem and Annette, who you met in the last video, have created an online plastic-free shop. They have curated select non-toxic plastic-free items and even organized them into kits. We have Clean Body, which includes shampoo, conditioner, and sea salt soap. We have Clean Boat, which includes laundry detergent, dish soap, dish sponge, and a plastic-free dish scrubber. The ultimate is Clean Ocean. And that includes everything plus plastic-free, our favorite raw element sunscreen. And a little bonus, they also sell toothpaste separately. Most people know that plastic's an issue, but what a lot of people don't know about living on a boat is all of that water that you use goes overboard. So having products that are non-toxic is extremely important. If you guys are interested, make sure you go over to catamaransupply.com and visit the plastic free shop. Thank you Catamaran Supply so much for sponsoring this video. Enjoy the video. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Today is our last day with the High Field Patrol 540. And we are going to take it out one more time in Maine. We're going to go to an island called Got, Great Got, G-O-T-T, -T, Island. And we're gonna go check out what it has to offer. I think you said there's some hiking trails around there and stuff? I mean, you can only get there by boat. There is a town public dock. The catch is that it's only accessible three hours before and three hours after high tide. And today high tide is at 2 p.m. So I think we're going at the perfect time. It's one o'clock right now, so we have about three hours to check it out and then get everything back on the move and cruising south to exchange boats. But I feel like I haven't talked to you guys in a while because Billy's family's been here and when we have family in town, I'm like anti-camera. But Billy's been doing a great job of keeping you all updated and informed. What do you think we will find on Great Got? I don't know. Hopefully some cool nature, hopefully it stays sunny out and pretty warm it's a little breezy today but not too bad and again it's sunny and warm so just gonna grab some fuel real quick we're kind of low i just don't want to run out out there probably would make it but better safe than sorry All right. I made an executive decision. <laughs> We're turning around. Just getting a little bit wet and it's pretty cold. We don't want to be freezing cold and wet all day. So we're just gonna turn around. We're gonna go to this little island. I think it's called Great Cranberry Island, across from where we were the other day on Little Cranberry Island or something like that. Think go check it out there. Think there's any cranberries? Maybe, I think they got their name I read because of all the wild cranberries that do grow there. So, I don't know. Here we go.
You're just gonna throw a stern anchor out and then super long line connected to a tree up there on shore. We've had an absolute blast on this boat. I mean, if you guys have any other questions about this boat, feel free to ask us. We are super lucky and super grateful to Highfield for letting us borrow this boat, and we're dropping it off tomorrow, so. We're yeah. gonna miss it. We're gonna miss it. And if you guys are just tuning in now, make sure you go back a couple videos and check out all the places we've gone with this boat because we've gone fishing, we've gone clamming, kiting, surfing, islands offshore, uh, lots and lots of crazy Wakeboarding, cool surfing stuff. off the back of it. Yeah, and we've enjoyed, we've thoroughly enjoyed our time with it and we're gonna miss it. But again, like Billy said, we're really grateful that we've had it for this long. So, hope you enjoy. Did you see him? Big guy. He's just going along the same trail we're going along. Otto's going nuts. Otto, that would hurt so bad. No. We literally have to hold you. <laughs> Daddy, no. You guys cannot get the porcupine. It's our last day on Mount Desert Island. So probably our last hike here on Mount Desert Island, but not in Maine. We'll have a little more time in Maine after this. But look at this view. These rocks are so much easier to climb when it's dry out. So we left my brother and Matt's house up on Mount Desert Island in Maine and we stopped at our little special spot down here where we got engaged just a week ago. We're just walking around, but we're heading south down to the Boston area to drop off the Highfield Patrol 540 and pick up the Corsair 880 Trimaran that we're gonna be towing around for at least like six months or so. If you guys live in any inland states like Indiana or Iowa or Montana. Montana, North Dakota, South Dakota, like all these states we're just not familiar with and we think 
like especially Indiana, I just think of like cornfields. Sorry if you live there and it's not just cornfields, but that's what I think of. But if you guys live there and you know of a big body of water that we can sail in, definitely comment below and let us know. It doesn't even have to be a big body of water. If it's just a really cool, interesting body of water, like we can try to do something it. Something that's possible to launch a 29 foot boat in with like a... And something with a boat ramp. We need a boat ramp. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> or a beach, that would work. Yeah, four wheel drive. Well, anyway, we're heading south, picking up this uh, trimaran. Would always find somewhere to hide when we were kids, so we could see and hear the water run. The river's gonna crack and you're gone. Wow. As it's holding up the whole dock. We are officially at Monahan's delivering the high field. Today is the day we say goodbye, but we're super happy we have had it for this long. Here we go. Oh yeah, right around the corner. You guys have weight for it? This is going high right? Yeah. Good. Say hi, Wally. How you doing, guys? <laughs> this is Wally. So the boat's gonna live here and Wally's gonna sell it. So if any of you guys are interested in the Patrol 540, I'll, I'll link all the information down below to get in touch with, with Wally over here. And uh, yeah, we're sad to, sad to see you go. Are you sad, Sierra? <laughs> Bye. Bye, boat. Bye. So sad. The only boat that's ever had your name on it, Jetty Bean. <laughs> that looks perfect. It's a little big to allow you. Back up underneath, yeah. Hello. Beautiful, as always. <laughs> hey, you guys. So we just got a call from Highfield. They said there has been a ton of interest in the Patrol 540 that we've been towing around specifically the way that we had it rigged with like the tower and t-top and stern tower and rod holders and all that stuff if you're interested in how it was set up they are sending us a link to a page that shows exactly how it is and you can check that out yeah they decided to offer it as like a standard package basically a special package with a special price or something i don't really know the full details but they said they were going to do that and they'll give us a link and we'll put it right in the description so if you're interested in that then check it out Before we added even more weight to the back of our truck with a bigger boat, we decided to beef up the rear suspension even more than we had already. We could do that in two ways, and that's with helper springs or airbags, and we decided to opt for helper springs because it was a little more of a simple and solid installation, and we're going to have the load on constantly for the next six months. Plus, we couldn't find a good airbag kit that really matched our truck well. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Remember, if you're interested in any of these items, head over to Catamaran Supply and check out the Plastic Free Shop. The link is right in the description. And a little, what do you call this? Plastic Free Dish Scrubber. And a plastic, <laughs> and a flat, <laughs> Jetty. <Jody. laughs>